Welcome back to Our World with Black Enterprise. Tristan Walker is one of the most sought after entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley. He's applying technology to a low tech market in a unique way. Paul Carrick Brunson has more. Tristan Walker, thank you for being on Our World. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Tell me, how did growing up here in Queens and your family shape who you are today? It was everything, all right? So I like to say I have the whole rose that grew from concrete story, right? You know, I was born, raised, Southside Jamaica, Queens, uh, 40 projects, uh, you know, welfare, that sort of thing. And I realized I didn't want my family to go through that. Uh, I was also raised by a single mother who worked her butt off, right, uh, to try and get us out of that situation. Uh, so it's now on me uh, to ensure that I make her proud uh, and not put my family through that same thing, right? Uh, combat that with also the fact that New York just gave me the hustle I needed to succeed. Right. Uh, and that's something that not only I, I will continue to kind of preach on myself, um, but also my son as he kind of grows up as well. You believe that your move from New York to sunny California, yeah. right? Getting your MBA at Stanford, was that a pivotal moment in your career? I think there were two pivotal moments in my career, actually, and I'll kind of go further back to when I was in high school. Um, so when I was 13, I moved to Lakeville, Connecticut uh, to go to boarding school for high school. And that was the first time I got to see how the other half lived, right? right. You know, I went to school with Rockefellers and Fords, right? And I got to really understand what wealth meant. Stanford was instrumental uh, in really kind of my development in my career. Uh, just having me be exposed to Silicon Valley it was a place I didn't know about until I was 24. Uh, thank goodness I did because it was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my entire life. So do you think that you could have built your company without the network that you created in Silicon Valley? There is no way that I could have built the company without that network. And, and I say this because you know, building the company requires us to raise capital. That capital requires my having the network to acquire that capital. Uh, my ability to recruit engineers and other talent, right, where you have that network effect in Silicon Valley with all the engineers, product folks, et cetera, instrumental, right? And I don't think I could have done it as effectively anywhere else. So is who we know more important than what we know? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Because um, I think everything starts, particularly when you think about business, with the product. I don't care who you know. If your product sucks, it sucks, right? right? Uh, people need to buy things that work. They need to buy things that respond with the way that they live their lives. They need to respond to efficacy, right? Right. Uh, it all starts with that. 31-year-old Walker created his business Walker & Company two years ago as a health and beauty company using technology to design, develop, and test products tailored to people of color. Walker & Company was birthed out of two views of the world that I think few people in Silicon Valley understand. The first is this idea pertaining to culture, right? I have this fundamental belief that all global culture is led by American culture, which is led by black culture in the U.S. You make food, music, dance, etc. Okay. The second view of the world that I had pertaining to health and beauty products companies, but I always joke about this experience of going to, you know, Walgreens, CVS, wherever, any retailer, having to go to aisle 36, it's the ethnic aisle, and they'll say it, like it's on the placard, right? It's crazy. Um, Lower shelf. Yeah, but, but the thing that's crazy about it is, like, it's not an aisle. Like, it's a shelf that's on the back, usually on the right side, across from, like, the Band-Aids, right? And then you have to reach to the bottom of that shelf for a package that's dirty. Yeah. So that's interesting. So we peel that back. You're saying that world culture is shaped by black culture. I'm saying it. I believe it. And I think everybody else should believe it, too. Walker & Company exists solely uh, to make health and beauty simple for people of color. Walker & Company is shaving a clean cut in a roughly $3 billion market. His flagship product is Bevel, a shaving system specifically created for men with coarse or curly hair. He's recently raised a $24 million round of financing and inked a deal to sell his product in Target. Now, Bevel is the first and only end to end shaving system clinically proven uh, to reduce, prevent uh, razor bump shaving irritation for men and women, period, full stop. Uh, it's a problem that's existed for well over 100 years, and no one's tried to solve it until today. We are the first and only, uh, and we've had incredible loyalty as a function of the efficacy that we provide to customers. You've created the solution to that. We have. And this is what I find to be fascinating, most fascinating, yeah. is that you're recognized as like this tech entrepreneur, right? You have this high-tech company, but yet you're focused on what many consider to be a low-tech problem, yeah. right? Mar the market is beauty and health. Yeah. So do you think that there's something that entrepreneurs and other businesses could learn from that model? Yeah, so you know, I get this question all the time. Tristan, why'd you leave tech to go into health and beauty? I tell folks I never left tech. The thing that makes us uniquely qualified to do what we're doing right now is not only our authenticity to actually find the needs, problem states, et cetera, but also leverage technology to do things in completely different ways. Wow, I love it, I love it. I mean, Tristan Walker, I think you're brilliant. I think you're authentic. 
and I think you're really hope realized. And it's a pleasure to have you on our yeah, world. Thank you so much. I, I really thank do you. appreciate it. Okay, thank appreciate you. It. Coming up, a strategy to help leaders understand the intricacies of workplace diversity.